Hey, I was talking my ass off and the motherfucker had went out. Wow, I didn't even know it had went out. Let me let me um let me turn this down. I didn't even know that it had went out. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Am I good? Am I straight? Am I good to go? Whatever. It's whatever. I was just talking my ass off and the tape had went out. So I guess this is I guess will be part three or four. I don't know. Whatever. However way we put it together. I'm gonna put them together. I try to put them around up to 25 minutes so each video will be like close to 25 minutes and that's just the way in which I do my segments so either way but I was um going through the different stuff that was in my bag and I wanted to show y'all some shit okay right quick but um <clears throat> I had wore that sweater and I haven't worn that sweater oh my god I think since last year or something and it was just hanging up in my closet and that sweater is um, extra large and so I had I had just put it in my bag and oh my god it just didn't look right but um, I, I also have wore these jeans and I love these jeans they're size 11 if you could see that Wendy is on now it's 1124 and um, so yeah um, and this is what the back of them look like but they're made by Paris Blues um, and I got them from Dee Dee's. And these, uh, they're good for, you know, wide hip pants. These pants I got on too. Um, let me show you what I got on right now. And believe it or not, well, I got some running around to do. Just put it that way. But I just have on a top. This is actually a bodysuit, but I don't have it, um, I don't have it buttoned up. I don't have it snapped. Um, cause I had a different top on and I just changed that top and put this top on. And this is my sweater that I'm wearing today. And, um, I was just extra cold this morning. So I put my, um, robe on with it, but this is just what I'm wearing today. I ain't combing my hair or nothing like that. So I know while y'all been watching, y'all be like, if this motherfucker don't do something with that motherfucker hair right now, um, this is how I do it. And I guess this is why my baby be tripping us. He like, damn, baby. I like, damn, why do I gotta be blah blah boom all the goddamn time and shit? Like, what is that? Beyonce is fucking it up for for us regular motherfuckers, ain't she? Because these niggas is really feeling like bitches is supposed to wear these goddamn shoes all day every day. They really feel like you supposed to okay, well shit, if Beyonce can dance and flip and shit and these goddamn stilettos and shit, what the hell's wrong with y'all? Well look, let, let me just go to let me just go to and say this right here for the regular motherfucker such as myself. Look, check this out. Um, it's easy to walk around with four and five, six inch heels when you're getting valeted at the door. You're not walking from the parking lot on where we had to park down the down the way and then we had to walk to the door. Nah, we had to park uh, down the street and walk up here. You still want me to put some heels on, but look, we ain't we had to do it this way right here. Calm down, okay? Then on top of that, when we got here, we had to wait till our table was ready. These motherfuckers is coming in, and they going straight to wherever the fuck they sitting down at. So, shit, she probably put put them shoes on while she was sitting in the car. Um, we're going to go ahead on. We're going to walk in here. And just for presentation, you know what I'm saying? Because it's cameras rolling. It's an image that you have to upkeep. And then therefore, boom, okay, for the cameras, TMZ, okay, there's no problem. We're going to give them what they need. Let's go and put all this shit on. And therefore, um, when we come up out of here, and then we're going to get back to regular schedule programming. Because motherfuckers ain't doing that shit all day. Let me just go and say that shit right now, fellas. Um, women ain't doing that shit all day. And apparently I got one that seems to think that it's true. And I done had to tell him, if you don't calm down with that shit, because motherfuckers ain't doing that shit all day. Well, I ain't doing it all day like that. So let, let's just be clear on mine. Fuck what everybody else is doing, partner. Um, this is what I'm about to do. I be raggedy at the house. My hair be flipped and turned to the left. My um, I, my eyelashes might be compromised, and I might be all that shit right here. Nigga, don't let these motherfucking pictures and shit get you fucked up, because I think that's where the problem lies. You took these motherfucking pictures, and you felt like, okay, I'm supposed to be this all the time. I'm not going to be that all the time, sir. I'm not going to be that. Sometimes I'm going to be this right here that's just talking shit and looking crazy. You know what I mean? But then, therefore, if you love me, then, therefore, it's supposed to be all to go any motherfucking way. Whatever it is, is a 10. I done already guaranteed that win. So, what we talking about right now? If you don't quit playing with me, yeah. 
What we talk? Are we talking about anything? Oh, okay. My bad. Excuse me. Yeah. So you know, this 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 we've been having some hell of a conversations over the whole motherfucking weekend because I really I really took offense to the fact that that motherfucker didn't like my goddamn flip flops that day. That motherfucker did not like my goddamn flip flops, and I'm like, wow. So I know we was once talking about that me coming downstairs and sister and the sister's friends and all of them, and here I ain't really told nobody about this right here. I mean, he's aware. But it ain't something that he go through. Well, I don't know. If he do, he ain't telling it to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like we talked about it a little bit and we kept it pushing. So I don't know. But once again, I don't know who his sister know and her nieces and all this. And she got a daughter that's 20-something years old. So hell. And me and his sister is like the same age. So it's like, well, hell. You know what I'm saying? She could be watching my shit, you know what I'm saying, all the time. So it's like, okay, but you telling me I'm about to come downstairs to a motherfucking family reunion that I wasn't even really totally prepared for, nigga. We was just fucking a while ago, wasn't we? And now all of a sudden, now I gotta act like we didn't do this, nigga. This is a walk of shame. You know what I'm saying? Can't put my shades on. Trying to figure out, okay, well, how do I look? Do I look suspicious? Oh my God, I can't go downstairs. I was tripping. When I tell you I was tripping, I was like, oh my God, how am I, how am I gonna do this? Oh my God! How 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 am I gonna walk downstairs, babe? How I'm gonna do this? He was like, he gonna walk. Shit. He was. I was like, wait a minute. But Mama and everybody downstairs. This motherfucker know. They done heard all kind of furniture moving up in this motherfucker. Cause we be on some Mr. and Mrs. Smith up around this motherfucker. We be on some Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, and that's how she ended up with that motherfucker. We be on that shit. We be fucking some shit up. Okay, we about to tear some shit up, and it's about to be on and popping in a minute. It's no problem. Okay, you need that broke? No problem. But I'm at his house tearing up his own shit, and he with it. So I'm like, okay, my auntie say, look, y'all motherfuckers is doing just a little bit too motherfucking much. That shit is crazy. Y'all motherfuckers get arguments and shit going so y'all can fuck the shit out of one another. What kind of shit is that? What is that? I was like, I don't know, auntie. I don't know what it is. I like it, though. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> so <clears throat> motherfucker didn't like my shoes. We had to go round and round with that shit. And I was like, okay, what the fuck he want? What the fuck? Uh, how? What? What I'm supposed to be fuck walking around with heels on and shit? My fuck, it's cold outside. Shit, my, my motherfucking feet don't work that way. Hell, I got all kind of motherfucking shoes, but hell, uh, excuse me, I ain't gonna be able to walk the ground with the motherfucking going in and out of 7-Eleven and A.M.P.M. and shit, nigga. If you want me to walk in and out of shit with these on, nigga, you got me fucked up. If you don't give me the motherfucking tennis right there, nigga, them, them, them pink ones right there, they call, what the motherfucker got a Z on the side. Put them motherfucker, them right there, I put them on. Cause fuck all that other shit. And the motherfucker like the sweat of my feet. I'm like, nigga, here's something's crazy with you, nigga. Something is wrong with your motherfucker. That he's like, oh man, when you put them shoes on that day, and I was like, nigga, I was just playing with you by putting on my tennis. That motherfucker was like, well, yeah, but well, since we talking about them motherfuckers, so, but really though, though, you are you are you listening? I said, yeah, I'm listening. What, baby, you put them motherfucking tennis shoes on? Oh my god, when we got back home and I took your shoes off and I put your feet in my face, remember when I did that? Baby, my nigga, I was ready. I was like, oh shit, for real? That motherfucker is crazy like that. I'm like, oh my god. Wait, look. I was trying to go to, you know, take me a shower. Motherfucker, we've been fucking all night. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I need to go take me a shower or something. Shit, can I go pee? That motherfucker, get, that motherfucker get up. He come to the bathroom, too, and hold up to the wall. I'm like, nigga, what is this? If you don't put your motherfucking arm down, nigga, why is you in here? Why is you sitting in here, though? I might got some gas or something. I might got to come through. Why is you right here? What is you what? You know what I'm saying? Shit pulled down early in the morning. Nigga, why is you right here? I'm just trying to figure out why is you in here with me? You ain't got to be in here with me, no partner. You ain't got to be in here with me. Why is you right here? Anyway, the motherfucker, just he just comes in and shit. I'm like, damn. Then the motherfucker lean against the wall on the other side where the towel rack is. Nigga, if you, that mean that you ain't, even, you ain't even got no place to sit. If you don't get up out of here, nigga, why is you in here right now? Shit. Okay? So... The motherfucker, I guess it was Saturday, I was taking me a shower. I look up, this motherfucker standing on the goddamn commode, looking down on the motherfucker. I said, niggas, you, niggas, you don't get your motherfucking ass up out of here. Where's the fuckers? Yeah, I had to go off on this motherfucking nigga. If you don't get your ass up out of here, because I, I, I felt something. You know what I mean? Motherfucker felt something. I was like, wait a minute, I feel something. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, my God. I looked up, this motherfucker is <laughs> standing on the toilet. Looking in the motherfucking shower on my ass. Yeah, true story. On my mama. May she rest in peace. On top of my daddy. Yeah. 
this motherfucker was standing on the sh- on the motherfucking commode, looking down in the shower at my ass, nigga. And I just got one leg up and shit, nigga, right there, shit, right there, bow, bend that, yeah. I'm handling it, you know what I mean? I'm shit, nigga. I'm everything. I'm like, let me go and handle all this right here, nigga. Yeah, right there. Put that leg up, shit. Don't come, bitch. Yeah, I'm handling it. This motherfucker right here. I was like, oh my god, what just happened right now? That motherfucker was looking down on my ass, y'all. This is see, this is the shit right here. I, I, you know, my auntie. I tell my auntie, my auntie gonna be like, man, look. I didn't tell my auntie that shit while ago because she had to go. So I couldn't give her this part of the storyline because she was like, I'm gonna have to call you right back. Some other shit is online. I said, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I hung up with her. So now y'all getting some shit that she didn't get yet. Yeah. I'm like, auntie, why is this my... Well, look. Like, I'm like, I'm calling y'all auntie. Because, yeah, this is what I supposed to been telling her. But, yeah, that motherfucker was standing on the commode looking at my ass in the motherfucking shower. Tripped me out. I was like, oh, my God. What is wrong with this motherfucker? You know? And when we started talking about... Because I took offense to the motherfucking shoe shit. You see, I'm going back to that. Let me, nigga, let me double back on that motherfucking shit right there. I had to let that motherfucker know. Nigga, I got all kind of motherfucking shoes at the house. Can't walk in them bitches worth a dime. Now, let's just be crystal clear on that shit. Now, I got what I need to guarantee me a win. Don't fuck, fuck what you're talking about. Now, you know, motherfuckers is going to judge me just off the fact on what the fuck I got on my goddamn feet. But, did, bitch, you, you didn't see that that bitch's teeth was straight? You didn't see that motherfucker? Yeah, that bitch had zoom white in there at some point in time. That bitch teeth was spray. Stomach was flat and shit. Motherfucker didn't see none of that shit. These motherfuckers went, oh, nice bag. Okay, her hair is cute today. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Turn around. Uh-oh, nigga. All right, that's all right. Turn around to the front. See the ass from the back. Gap doing that. Okay, bam. Ow. Yeah. These motherfuckers ain't looking at none of that shit. They going right down in my feet. Nigga, if you don't knock it off, nigga, that's some hater shit. You know what I mean? That's like you trying to find some shit, motherfucker. If you done went through all these motherfucking this right here and this right here and that right there, nigga, and you just came out. What? If you don't knock it off right there, what 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 we doing? Nigga, that's some hater shit. You know what I'm saying? If you had to find you you trying to find something to poke at. You know what I mean? Fuck the rest of that shit, but nigga, what's up with that right there? Psh. Get up out of here with that shit, nigga. That's some hater shit. If that's all the fuck motherfuckers, motherfuckers is trying to look for something to say, okay, well, you know what? She cool, but damn, she high as a motherfucker today. Nigga, what? get up out of here with that shit. You over here on my till, partner. Okay? You over here chilling with me right now. So, uh, look, nigga, uh, uh, you didn't want to go out with Wallace and them. So, then therefore, roll with this shit then. Or adios amigos, nigga. Oh, okay. So, anyway, um, but yeah. So this is the shit that I have to deal with, though. I have to deal with this kind of shit, like, all the time, like, you know. And after we went through the shoot thing, and I was pissed off, because I was like, you know, I had to let that motherfucker know. Shit, nigga, judge me about my character, nigga. Look at me about my integrity and my works. Judge me on that shit. Don't judge me about what the fuck I put on my back, because that's some riches shit. This is all some bullshit. I can't take all this shit with me. You know what I mean? Don't judge me on how my hair is looking when I come on this motherfucker. Don't judge me about what the fuck I come on, you know, my dialect, motherfucker. Judge me on what you feel. If I make you feel a certain motherfucking way, okay, well, shit. You most pay attention to that shit any motherfucking way. When you meet people and you talking to them, check out the highs and lows of their voice. You know what I mean? Do they make you feel a certain type of way? You know, is it a good feeling, a down feeling, the energy? Pay attention to that shit when you're talking and meeting motherfuckers and shit. Because your they spirit is going to be like, you know what, there's something wrong with that motherfucker. I'm kind of cool on that one. You know what I mean? Something in my spirit kind of unsettling with that motherfucker. You might not want to fuck with him. Keep on that right there because it's, it's some meaning to that shit. I've been saying that for a long time to people. Pay attention to motherfuckers when you're around certain people. They aura. You know what I mean? They vibration. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, when he told me that, I was like, are you serious right now? You mean to tell me, fuck how I am as a person. Fuck my works. Fuck the fact that, you know, I'm, I am who I am to you. Motherfuckers is looking at my shoes. I feel like that was a motherfucker that he must have met and showed some of my pictures to or whatever. I don't know. But it's like, well, what the fuck? They was looking at all my shit and then turned around. Oh, but her shoe game. Nigga, um, what? Nigga, that's some hater shit to me. That's some hater shit to me. That's some crazy shit. 
That's just like a motherfucker be like, okay, like, well, I can't so much say that Sheree was hating, but, I mean, that's some, that's some bow, nigga. Okay, well, yeah, okay, she got a house and this, this, and this, but her shit is, you know, did you see that bucket up under the seat? Like, really? I mean, motherfucker ain't looking at the fact that, okay, this is Kenya's. This is Kenya's home. She's able to do what she chooses to do with it. As she said, she owns the title free and clear. This is her shit. Her shit ain't in no trust and all this whole type of shit. You know? And it's like, this is hers. And regardless to wh wh whether she used a certain type of contract or what, contractor or whatever, however way, she's running her shit on her own accord and finances her own shit. So then therefore, who really gives a fuck? You know, I was saying that from the very motherfucking beginning. I was like, well, why, why is motherfuckers tripping on, you know, and I was even saying that shit on Sheree shit, even though, you know, motherfuckers was like, oh, it took and it's taking her so long. Motherfucker, you, ain't you staying with your mama and him? How in the fuck you gonna, man, it's been motherfuckers having shit to talk about that shit, and they ain't even got no motherfucking home. If you ain't got no goddamn house, don't talk about somebody else. That's some dumb shit to me. You know what I mean? That's some dumb shit to me. You talking about somebody's car, motherfucker, and you ain't even got one. It's like, damn. Oh, if I had a girl, I wouldn't even put up with that shit on that job. Motherfucker, you ain't even got no job. How are you going to tell me about what the fuck? Oh, girl, that man, girl, fuck that man. You ain't even got no motherfucking man, no. How are you going to try to tell me? Motherfucking misery love company. You hear me? Misery love motherfucking company. If you don't see it, you see it now. You know what I mean? Assimilation and association work hand in hand. You better understand me. Okay? So then, therefore, when all this shit's going... Wait, look, hey. Bottom line is, because I know I'm going two or three places. Okay? I know I'm going two or three places. I need to calm down and slow down. Okay? I need to slow the fuck down. Um, bottom line is, I like my baby. I do. I love him. I do. He do have some real cool ass attributes. He good to me. I still got my shit on vibrate. You see that shit? Motherfucker still ringing the fuck off. I could probably put that shit up to my clip and come in five minutes. That motherfucker been vibrating so motherfucking much, nigga. I bet you if I put it under my arm, it'll do something. Yeah. That motherfucker is doing a few things. Been doing it. And I ain't been checking it either. I'm like, well, damn, nigga. Stop playing me so motherfucking close for a minute. She get up off me, nigga. Shit. Give me some motherfucking room. Let me get, nigga. Give me some room to express for a motherfucking minute. I love you, nigga, but goddamn. You know what I mean? It's like, whoa, like, nigga, like, damn. You know, the other motherfucking morning, I get up, you know what I'm saying? Now, now I have been, I was laying in the bed all motherfucking morning. He came up there with some ham and shit, and I was like, okay, because I had brought him some ham and shit because I had cooked and all that. So, that motherfucker came up to, upstairs with some ham and some Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, the, yeah. He had some Krispy Kreme donuts because we had went and got some Krispy Kreme donuts at the hot light the night before. So they was hot the previous night. Next morning, shit, that motherfucker went down there and he was like, shit, this how we doing this. He's like, I, I got us. I said, you got us, baby? Yeah, I got us. I'm going to bring us up some shit. That motherfucker came up there with some Krispy Kreme hot ass donuts and some slices of ham. That shit was good in the motherfucker. I was like, damn, nigga, I love you. Shit. Mother, mother, that motherfucker shit was so goddamn good to my mama. I said, oh my God, this shit is so motherfucking good, nigga. This is crazy. I'm in love. This is crazy. Yeah, this is a midnight no, it's a midnight star shit, huh? Yeah. So, we still laying in bed or whatever. This motherfucker decided his dick wanna get hard all of a sudden. I said, God damn. Didn't I tell you, God damn it, the Vaseline is doing his job, um, the sweating is going down as we speak. Nigga, I ain't, I ain't ready yet, God damn it. Shit, I ain't ready yet, motherfucker, because this motherfucker right here, oh my God, I feel like I'm about to die every time. I'm like, you know what, it's like I'm in a fight. Like tonight, okay, now tonight, I'm going to sit in the sauna, I got to, I got to bounce back, snap back, all my shit is compromised, I'm sore, the motherfuckers feel like I've been, nigga, I've been, I, I've been beat the fuck up by three hyenas in the woods. I ain't bullshitting you. I feel like I done got beat up by so many motherfucking raccoons and shit. Goddamn porcupine rolled up on my back. I feel like I got fucked up. I feel, I literally feel like I've been fucked up. And it's like, every time when I come back home, I'm like, oh my God. Now I need my yoni egg and shit. I need all the motherfuckers. I need everything on deck. I need all motherfucking hands on deck when I come the fuck back home. I bullshit you not. This motherfucker got my shit compromised like a motherfucker. I was like, damn. I got so much motherfucking shit out of compliance. I'm just holding on. I'm like, okay, well, look. 
I'm going to take Anthony to work, and then I'm going to come back. I got to take me a nap, nigga. I got to go Betty bye, nigga. I need a lullaby sung to my ass, because I need to take me an afternoon nap today. I, I mean, because I ain't been hardly getting no goddamn sleep. No nothing. Went to sleep on Anthony's ass last night. That's why I'm still dressed. I went to sleep thinking that I was going to get up to go pick up Anthony. That's why I'm still dressed. I was going to say that a while ago, but I thought a motherfucker was going to be like, bitch, you nasty motherfucker. Call me what you want to. I'll be that too. I, last night, when I got home, so I had this shit on yesterday, okay? Everything. Yesterday. I got home. I had to deal with the traffic of coming from out of L.A. I got home like seven something, some shit like that. When I got home, I came back here. My daughter want hugs and kisses. Mommy, I miss you. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. So all that shit. So after I'm hugging and kissing on my baby, and then I, and then she leave, and then my son come back, you know he, hey mama, you know, hey what's you know what's up, and I see the car and everything and yada yada. So you know I get that. Anthony's at work though, so I was like I had set my alarm on my phone to wake me up at a quarter to ten, okay, but I fucking went to sleep. And my phone died in the process because all these motherfucking alerts from Instagram, Twitter, and this and this, and whoop de whoop, and uh, I was going to say YouTube, I mean YouTube, all these different things, the alerts come in on my um, cell phone. So my battery life goes down all day. If I don't keep my phone on the charger, I don't, I don't have no charge. That's just the way it go. But last night when I dozed off and went to sleep, I had my phone by me because I was just talking to him. You know, and it was like, shit, tell me you love it, tell me you love it. Niggas, okay, nigga, damn, shit. Okay, good night, uh, nigga. Um, can I go to sleep, please? Can I go to sleep? I'm tired. I got to get up. I got to go get Anthony. So I'm going to doze off for a minute. I'm going to just shut my eyes for a minute. And then I'm going to go get Anthony, and we'll talk in a minute. I'll be damned. I didn't, when I fucking went to sleep, I went to sleep. I, went, I fucked around and woke up, nigga. It was a quarter five this morning. I was like, God damn, what's going on? Boots and shit still on? I said, oh, <laughs> my boots, look. Still got my motherfucking shoes on, my nigga. I still got my shoes on, everything. So I just said, fuck it. Give me a robe, shit, nigga. I'm ready, robe. Fuck it. I'm, it's what it is. Now I just be taking him to work with the same shit I had on to go pick that ass up last night. Fuck it. So when I get back home, I'll get the sign and heat it up. And then I'll get naked and lay in that motherfucker because everything going to need him and laying sea sauce and yoni eggs and all kinds of shit. Nigga, I need to sniff some shit as far as, well, excuse me, let me be clear because I need a motherfucker going to say something. I need to burn this motherfucking dragon's blood incense outside the dough, okay? So that shit infuses and come into the sign and it makes it more relaxing, you know, for me as I meditate and get my prayer on. Because I'm going to need all that tonight. I'm gonna need all of that. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need him not to call me. Just let me just do this right here, nigga. I need to go through this cleansing ritual, cause nigga, you got me fucked up. I need steam and everything tonight. I need it all. I need the whole motherfucking combo plate tonight. I mean, and this is like, whoa, like, why? Is, what is this? And then he he come with, well, because I don't see you all the time. Wait a minute, motherfucker. So you mean to tell me you like this because you don't see me all the time? That make no, that don't make no sense to me. You know, them motherfuckers had, a, had a, one reason why I didn't come on here. Let me just go and be honest about that. Um, because I know um, me and Carl had talked about it. But that motherfucker put this huge ass hickey on my motherfucking right here. I mean, and it was so fucking huge. I had one here, one here, just hickeys like all over my shit. And I was like, what kind of 1987 shit is this, Pauls? What is you trying to do? I mean, is it like a branding, like, what are you trying to do? I said, because we're not kids, you know? And it's like, you know, I was ready to really cut this motherfucker loose because this motherfucker was really like, you know, it was some erotica she jumped on that night. I'm telling you, we, nigga, we be on some old, man, I told you. Nigga, shit, nigga, it's a hey, adult playground like a motherfucker. We be getting shit. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 yeah. Huh? Ooh, 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 ah, 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 yeah. Huh? Yeah, we be on some other shit. So, you know, it's like, damn, you know. You know, I don't know what the fuck. You know what I mean? So, it's like, um, anyway. I'm sharing more than what the fuck I should. But, yeah, that motherfucker had me tatted up. And I wasn't going to come on here and y'all motherfuckers be like, damn, motherfucker.